What's up, you guys? Welcome to um, this, this news edition. It's loud in the studio. It's loud in the studio, guys. Anyway, uh, that happens all the time in uh, television news. I'm going to go up a button for the sake of professionalism. Uh, yeah, you're in the shot. You're in the shot. You're in the... Sh you're... Yeah, okay. Well, um, so news. Dragon Ball Z, Radiohead, and... Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh, Red Dead Redemption. So let's dive right into it. These are some of my um, most favorite things. And so I just wanted to talk about how I'm feeling about the new stuff um, that may or not be coming up. I'm also like literally just Googling stuff right now. I wanted to talk about it, but I didn't have anything to talk about it. So I'm Googling. Okay. I just knew what I wanted to talk about, but I didn't want to. Is this not how people make news? This is how I make news. Um, so I'm watching this new trailer. Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I had seen this one already. Um, this new game. Let me see what system this is on really fast. Um, this trailer looks like it could be for any system. So I'm just zooming through it. But, uh, okay. PS4, Xbox, and PC. It's already available. So that's the newest Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if you, if you guys are like me. I've never had a, a Dragon Ball Z game that I really feel like lived up to the, its full potential. I mean, I want to see, and even with the movies, you know, the last movie to come out, I mean, come on, I think we deserve better in the Dragon The one thing that Dragon Ball Z has done super well is with the, not the live action movies, but the regular movies. Uh, and when they brought back the series all the way from Goku Black all the way to the, you know, the, the, the tournament between all the different um dimensions that was really cool actually i need to go back and watch um some more of that um let me see if there's anything else i want to talk about with dragon ball z dragon ball z um i didn't really get dragon ball z super if i can say that um i was like or dragon ball z dragon ball super oh no 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 Dragon Ball Super is super duper awesome. I was saying I didn't get, um, what was that re, re, redone Dragon Ball Z thing where it was like a, uh, it was like old Dragon Ball, someone tell me in there. No. This, they, they said Pokemon in the studio. That's how little the people in the studio are really keeping up on this stuff. But anyway, Dragon Ball Super was, was really, really, uh, was really cool. And then Dragon Ball Z F, I want to say. What was the new one called? F was the movie. Someone tell me what the new Dragon Ball Z series was called. Yeah, we know that it was called <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, so let, let's let's keep it moving, guys. Um, Radiohead. I want to say this. Tom York just dropped. Um, he just dropped uh, his album, The Eraser, which basically changed my life. He dropped that album on uh youtube i mean i was already out but he like uploaded the songs and they've been releasing a lot of cool stuff since the whole quarantine situation happened they've been releasing old performances which i haven't watched because i'm not really into old performances like that i don't like looking at old video i don't know if you're like me i don't like looking at old video so anyway uh i, I didn't want but i'm sure at some point i will go watch it but the fact that he, he the eraser is one of the greatest songs of all time black swan is perhaps the greatest song of all time it's actually the Clock Analyzer, um, those songs are so, a Symbol Rush, um, the other songs are good too, And It Rained All Night, oh my gosh, it's such, that's probably one of the most brilliant albums ever to be created, I'm telling you, I think it's actually the epitome of modern music right now, I don't think anyone has accomplished more musically than he did in that one project, and that was like 10 years ago or something like that, but we'll see, um, so that's uh, new on Radiohead. As far as any other Radiohead stuff that is coming up, let's see. Let's see. I'm, I haven't really heard anything. So you can hear Creep in the style of Deftones. Cool. Radiohead's fourth album, Kid A, Analyze a New Book. I'm, I, don't, I don't get into stuff like that. I don't get into I will read some of Tom York's lyrics, but to be honest, I'm more about his musicality. His lyrics are very fascinating. You know, he's a poet, but... You know, maybe there's some, some better poets out there. Anyway, but um, musically, he's ridiculously gifted. And now to finish it up, I'm going to talk about something that I have 
only a little bit of room to talk about, which is Red Dead Redemption. If you guys listen to the podcast Fake Doctors Real Friends, Zach Braff is is about to get on Red Dem Red Dead uh, Redemption. Uh, I have not had a chance. Can you guys believe it? I have not had a chance to play either Red Dead Redemption games in in their fullness, and I know that they're beautiful, gorgeous games, and that you can do all kinds of old world stuff in them. Um, there's some shenanigans going on back here in the studio, but no, I, I haven't had a chance to check any of them out and I, and I hope to. So it's like, well, why would you make this video about it? Because lots of people are like me, people, not everyone's played it. Some people don't even know what it is. So chill. Um, Red Dead Online may be adding major RDR1 character soon. Great. Wouldn't matter to me as I still have not played, but I mean, it matters. What Red Dead Redemption 2 single player DLC could add? Let's see. Red Dead Redemption 3 needs to focus on Dutch's story. Okay. Well, all I know is um, I want to get deeper into some Red Dead Redemption and I'm excited to. Can you believe this? Can you guys believe this? Can you believe the note that was just dropped on my desk? And now the. Okay. Anyway, so Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm going to try to get into that more, but that, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. This is my idea of creating news. If you guys like the idea of me doing news and like picking different topics that I like uh, or that other people you can leave in the comments and then me just doing news on it, um, let me know. I, I think there could never be enough news, okay? And I have real news problems because I have one of the worst EPs. What EP gets behind you during the shot and goes like this? How are the people going to focus on what I'm saying if you're doing... Okay. Get that out of here. I'm just joking. I'm not going to throw any... I would never throw a pillow at a, at a at an EP. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Let me know if you like the news idea.